throughout this season it's been to Valley Parade as Bradford play just to scum for. Mountains have fallen way short of their pre-season expectations, a third on the table. Mark Hughes will be great for the season is close to conclusion. The feeling will be the same for Scunthorpe as the National League beckons. After 72 years, it's up the club. It will require a big transformation for them to get back into League 2. Mark Hughes will have asked for now as a level of professionalism and commitments. It should be played in a pretty carefree manner, particularly as far as Bradford are concerned. Younger players in the starting eleven today. Very early opportunity for Bradford, and they've taken the lead already. That's a quite unbelievable start to this game. Jamie Walker with his third for the club, and immediately from kickoff, Scunthorpe having defensive problems. Smart turn though from Walker, and he finds that far corner. Rory Watson beaten. Rapid lead by a goal to nil. Textbook way to start the game as far as Bradford are concerned. Still caught already. Probably have that sinking feeling. Here is Vernon! Brilliant strike! They're having some fun today, the Bantams. And already this scoreline could turn out to be an embarrassing one as far as the Iron are concerned. All of a sudden the space opened up for Bernard. It's a brilliantly accurate finish into the far corner. forward again, here is Pereira, right all overlaps, that's not a bad looking cross, Hendry, Scott Lord Raven to get blocks in, Burnham goes with his left foot this time, and why not, certainly looks almost as strong as his right peg, Lead. Central midfield today rather than the position of wide. Walker tries to slide one in for Angle. It could have been three. It could be anything this scoreline. Squeezes that cross in towards Angle. And in fairness to Watson, he gets down well to make the save. Bass needs to be careful. Well, Scunthorpe have one back in bizarre circumstances. Given how bad their season has been, they have to accept any gift they can get. And that certainly was a gift. What was Bass doing? Angle. Clever back heel the effervescent Walker. Easton was back to make the challenge. Pretty relentless as far as Bradford are concerned. Not a bad effort from range. Elliot Watt lining one up. Beanie. Back to the edge of the area, but Beeston was beaten. And now Bradford looking to cut Scunthorpe open again. Here's Burnham. On he goes! That wasn't far away. Head in hands moment for Charles Burnham. 
shown again onto his favoured right foot. And it spat the crossbar. Summer. Hendry. Excellent ball in. He can't quite find Walker. Matteson did enough. Got in the way of the Bradford attacker. Hendry's throwing comes quickly. Angle leading the line. Lost out wide. On the low delivery, and it nearly fell for Charles Werner. Scumbert looked petrified when those low crosses come in. East in, through to Matteson. Pass blocks it. Go the away side. Another block comes in. It's a very good pass from Alfie Beeston. Matteson made the run, but Bass made himself big. Long pass. Drop Bradford's way again. Burnham. Pulled. And still, Burnham strikes it. On a kick only, but Charles Burnham really should have had a free kick. Burnham will have to do. Outswinger from Watts. And sent over at close range. Carlan Lavery only just come on as a substitute. Drop to him very quickly, not at a nice height either. Kick awarded to Scunthorpe. They salvage an unlikely point. They want to pick up some more points before they do drop out. It's all about pride as far as they're concerned. in by Feeney and glanced towards goal it wasn't a bad effort either Bass gathers it from mid-air decent leap from Delaney Cook and Watt Hendry Gilead now for Pereira Slaloms forward, tees up Burnham, and he nearly had another. Burnham swept it towards goal first time. Away by Rowe. The game of head tennis is broken out. Hendry. is enough, as deemed by the referee. Bradford have managed to hold on for all three points. Two goals inside the first six minutes did the damage. Jamie Walker's strike in the first 20 seconds was followed up by a curler from Charles Burnham. An embarrassing one for Alex Bass, so record five, but will back the scope door to no avail. It's finished. Bradford two, Scott